Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wired wireless Active Directory and much more. In this episode, we will onboard a Windows client. In the last two episodes, we prepared the ClearPass server to do onboarding. And uh, yeah, finally, in this episode, we are onboarding a client. So we ended up with this uh, onboarding authorization service and on the uh, ClearPass guest site, we uh, did the onboarding configuration. So we created certificate authority and we created the provisioning settings in a few steps. Um, so we can do the onboarding. So here with the test, this is the onboarding URL. So let's um, copy this uh, for now. So now it's time to uh, onboard a client and uh, let me bring on my client. So here is my client and the client is currently connected to the corporate network. And you have probably seen a lot of videos on a uh, single SID onboarding where we use the AD credentials to connect to the network. And then we will be redirected to the onboarding portal. Um, we might do that later on, but uh, another yeah, pretty convenient way is to use the guest network. And what we can do is uh, just connect to the guest network like we did before. And uh, what it will do, it will uh, pop up. And uh, yeah, every user can log in to the guest network. But uh, wouldn't it be cool if we uh, can here maybe put this URL uh, on the guest page? And yeah, we can do that. So let's go here to the configuration page and go back to our guest page and if you missed it, there is a whole episode on how to set this up. And here on the registration page, uh, I think in the footer might be a good place. So um, what we can do here is uh, put some HTML. Um, are you an employee with a link to the URL? And I think we can take this off. With slash A, we stop the link, and with slash B, we stop the paragraph. So let's save this page. Let's um, try it here. Oh, no, not that one. We should uh, launch this page. So this is the guest page. And now we have a link here. And if we click the link, we will go there. So we can do the same from our, um, from our client. So if we now refresh this page, we see we can uh, start the onboarding here. So let's do that, start the onboarding here. And this is where we can uh, authenticate. So before we are onboard, we created a service to authorize the onboarding process. And um, it should be that only users and contractors should onboard. So let's try first with the admin login to onboard and yeah, you can see that doesn't work. Um, for now, let's try to onboard as a contractor. So you see, we are now allowed to onboard our device. And um, because we are on a Windows machine, what you can see um, is that it will propose me to download the Quick Connect application. And yeah, let's download that one. Then uh, when it's downloaded, we will start it up. And as you can see here, here is the security warning. If you want to get rid of this security warning, you need to install a code signing certificate on the ClearPass. So the Quick Connect application will be properly signed. So for the end user, um, it's basically on Windows, um, just uh, starting up this application and running next. If I had an Android device or an iOS device, and I will show you uh, the onboard result later on for an Android device and a Windows device. I cannot show it on screen, but I will show it. So you will see um, there is a similar procedure, just a bit different adapted to the specific operating system. And now we are onboarded. We have the option to connect and let's try. If we can connect, you can see here the Wi-Fi is going down and now it's coming up again. And what you can see is we are now connected over the Wi-Fi on 10.1.10.104, 10, uh, which is our corporate network. And uh, yeah, we can get 
a summary of the changes here. So he created a wireless network. It, uh, um, yeah, it just uh, configured the network. And in the backend here, if we uh, check here for certificate, manage user certificates, what we can see here, we go into the personal certificates. We can see that we have now this certificate here uh, deployed to our network. So let's see how that uh, looks in the backend. So in the ClearPass policy manager, So what we do see here is um, first we see the onboarding authorization, which is the very first authentication. And um, yeah, there from here, you can see that we are onboarding on this page. We have all kinds of information uh, right here. And then if we go to the second authentication, um, which is uh, the real issuing of the certificate. So you can see it's a bit later there here on the computed attributes we can see some more so we can see uh, the mac addresses for this system we can see the operating system which is collected by the onboard client so we have some more information and we could um, based on this information maybe uh, only allow clients to onboard on windows 10 or maybe not allow them on windows 10 so we have some additional control there and then here in the end what we can see is that we have the uh, EPTLS authentication where we are authenticated as a contractor and we are um, yeah, assigned a contractor role. And here in the computed attributes, we can see um, the details of the certificate that we are authenticated with. So this is the same certificate that you saw pushed to the client. And based on this information, of course, we can do all kinds of role mapping again, um, but for now, as we are also checking uh, the uh, Active Directory. So we're pulling authorization attributes from Active Directory as well, um, combine it with the ETLS. So we could yeah, present this uh, user with the onboard certificate, different role than uh, with the uh, just username, password, or a uh, certificate issued by the Active Directory. And yesterday I create uh, onboarded uh, a few other clients so if we check here uh, and filter for the service to include onboard uh, you can see here that I have a user 2 that is uh, authenticating and here the second one this should be the certificate uh, uh, issuing um, no should be one more Here we can see some more information. So uh, we can see here that it is an iPad 2.5, which is an iPad mini. We can even see the serial number. And um, this was an iOS device. And I think this is an Android device. So uh, let's have a look. So here we can see it's uh, yeah Moto G uh, 5 Plus. Um, yeah, which is nice and we can uh, see even more stuff like the email number and uh, device version and uh, stuff like that. So depending on the platform, you get more or less information. But the good news is that we don't need to uh, get this device under device management. So um, it's pretty friendly and uh, we don't need to have full control over the clients uh, uh, from the end user. If you want full control, uh, by the way, you probably will imp uh, deploy a mobile device management system um, and uh, take the full control over the device. But in many cases, you don't want to have full control over the device um, because it's a personal device and they just need to have uh, access to the network. And in that case, onboard is a perfect solution for you. So. That's for, that is it for this video. Um, so we onboarded a Windows client on the network. Um, we created a link in the guest portal to allow that uh, onboarding uh, easily uh, from the guest network. I hope you like this video. If so, please press the like button below and uh, also put your comments in there. And um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and you will be notified for next videos coming up.